In this video, I'm going to show you nine different ways of different settings that you can make in your YouTube video when you upload it that are going to help you rank with YouTube. The first thing you need to do, obviously, is load your video. Um, one of the things um, I always do is I use Camtasia. And when I go to load it, it's right there in a folder. And I just take the MP4 file and load it here. I'm going to set um, at the end of the video, I will have a, a video there for you to show you exactly how to load your video and set it and do all that stuff. Once you've loaded it, it's going to bring you up to a page that looks like this. And this is where you can start really doing certain things that are going to help with your search. Now, when I say with your search, um, YouTube has two algorithms. And one of them is they want to know what you want to rank for. So since it's not a person looking at your video, they can't really watch it and see how good you are or anything like that. So they're going to use um, all the different techniques I'm going to show you now to help them decide if you're going to rank. The second thing that they look at is once you start playing your video and people start watching it, then they start looking at watch time, click through rate, things like that. Then they decide if you'll rank and how much better you are compared to other videos. So everything has to be done with words because it can't be done with audio. So the first thing you want to do, let's say that I'm going to do a video on passive income. Okay. I'm going to say passive income models. Let's say three passive income models. Okay. That you want to put that keyword phrase in your title. The second thing you want to do is you want to put the exact same phrase in your description. Now you notice here, I have a description that I have set. It's automated. It's on every single one of my videos, but then I add different things to the beginning and to the end that goes with the video that I'm posting. So I'm going to put in three passive income models. After that, I'm going to say as much as I can about the video. The more you put in there, the better. It's just like a website. If you think about it, um, the analytics for, uh, Google to, to help drive traffic to your website or to help you rank it has to do with how many words you have on a page, how many times you mention your keyword phrase and other tags and things like that. So YouTube works just like that. So this is like a mini blog if you think about it. And so if you notice, it, they give you 5,000 characters and I would say most people barely use half of that. So use as much of it as you can, but just talk about your video, say what's in there and use that keyword phrase as much as you can. So that's two. Um, then when I go to my tags, I use the exact same keyword phrase for the first tag. Now, once that comes up, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a software tool that helps me with my keyword search. I actually have um, TubeBuddy in here and I have vidIQ. vidIQ gives me the top three keywords and I always put those in second. I have the lowest program with vidIQ and that's what I'm looking for is those top three keywords. And then I come up, I can look here. These all come from TubeBuddy. These are all re recommended tags. So I can just start hitting those and all of them have to do with passive income. Now, if it said something like passive income with rental properties, I'm not gonna pick that unless that's one of the models I was talking about. You wanna make sure the tags that you're using are focused on passive income. And YouTubeBuddy does it for me. They go in and pick me the, the different phrases and keywords that will help me to rank. Now, something neat, let's say I put in three passive income models again. Let's say it, it was at the bottom. Well, here's one for ideas. <clears throat> I'm gonna repeat one passive income. Okay. So let's say you're looking there and you got some from the bottom. You, you had some that maybe you had listed. Okay. Go right here where it says sort. TubeBuddy does this. Look, I had four phrases that I used twice. So TubeBuddy will go in there and sort and remove them for me. And there you go. And then I can continue to get my phrases. Now I can only go up to 500 ca characters. Another thing you want to do to help with your SEO is to come up with like a four letter combination of letters or maybe your name and put them in. So I've seen people do things like KRPT and they use that on every single video. It doesn't mean anything, but YouTube's going to notice, hmm, KRPT. 
there's a bunch of other videos that have the same tags. So that what they'll do is they'll start showing them as recommended on the side. I personally use my name and I know other people will do that. Sometimes you can find another guru that maybe does passive income. Pat Flynn is really big. Um, and you can put their name in there as well. Um, I've seen people do that and it'll actually help your rankings and it'll kind of connect you to his audience as well as yours. So once you're done that, another way that you can help your SEO is go to the playlists. You wanna always add your video to a playlist. If you can add it to two, that's even better. One of the things in playlist is you want to make sure you have videos that are uh, cohesive. If you're going to do one, let's see, we just, I have one in here with passive income. So let me go ahead and select that. So all of the videos in that playlist are passive income. And what I do in there is like maybe by the ninth or 10th video, I would maybe put a video in there from Pat Flynn because he's like a passive income expert. He does a, a blog or a website called smart passive income. And then as people go through my playlist, my videos will keep popping up one after another. It literally keeps going. Well, then they hit Pat Flynn's video, but it's in my playlist. So after that plays, it comes back to my video. And the algorithms are going to pick that up. They're going to see that connection between the two um, channels and say, oh, well, maybe some of the people from this channel will want to see more videos from them and vice versa. And they'll get recommended. So that's another way you can increase um, your watch time and your SEO. Now let's go back up to the description because there's more things you can do in there. After I do a description of the video and I use that phrase as much as I can without overdoing it, then I scroll down and I have some business resources that I have in there automatically. And in here I have, um, it says check out some other popular videos. Well, I may even add in there a playlist uh, check out this playlist and then I'll also add a channel to a to a competitor and when I say competitor I don't mean somebody that only has like 5,000 subscribers but somebody that has like 2 million somebody big that I'm not going to hurt them if I put their channel in inside their link inside of my description or if I put a video from them inside of my description it's just going to connect our two channels I'm not going to hurt them but they're going to help me if that makes sense so People, when they get that big, I'm sure they're fine when you share their channel because it's going to drive traffic to them as well, even though they don't need it. So make sure you do that. And then when you go down to the bottom here, you want to also put links to all your other social media resources. Um, the more you get people to click out of here to other platforms, that helps YouTube. They like that because they want to draw more people in. And then if you're in affiliate marketing, obviously put your disclaimer. And then at the very bottom, I like to put three hashtags. So I might put passive income. I like to put my name. And then I might put something else like um, uh, income models. So those are hashtags that will show up underneath the description. All of this is going to help your SEO. And of course, you want to have a good thumbnail. Actually, TubeBuddy allows you to make a thumbnail right here from the channel. So you can go in over here to the right where it says, um, I take that back. You can go down here at the bottom where you can see best practices and scroll down and you're going to see add a high resolution thumbnail. So right there, you can create your thumbnail through your TubeBuddy account and keep your template and then you can keep using it. You want to have something that has your, um, you want to use a template that has you on it so people get to know you and then just use three, four words on it and make it pop and try to use the same color scheme or something with the same style. Not exactly the same, but that way pe you're branding yourself and then people will see the colors or they'll see the, the font that you use. I've seen people that are very consistent with this and I'll, I don't even have to read the title, but I know it's their thumbnail. So it's, it's pretty much a branding thing. So people get to recognize you. So if you do all of those things when you upload your video, and use YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy, and it's so easy that to just get all of this put together, then you will get more search engine optimization and more traffic to towards your, um, your video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. Right now, I am producing six videos a week, and they are all to help you earn more money, passive income, and 